I'm Melissa, and I'm only a freshman, but um, you know, I've been through a lot of stuff most kids haven't. Um, I moved to Huntsville about seven years ago, and um, I started going to a church where I could never take things seriously, you know. I just went for friends, and my grandma started to notice, and she told me I needed to try something different. So I picked Capshaw because the guy I liked went to it, and um, you know, I just enjoyed hanging out with him and bringing other friends because I, I you know, I felt cool, and you know, that that's always a plus. And uh, we we mocked God more than anything; like we never paid attention. And um, at school, I just kind of watched them waste their life on pointless things like smoking and drinking and having sex. And um, it made me feel like a big person, you know, seeming bad. Like I felt better than everyone else. And um, yeah. Um, I've not always lived such a simple life though. I mean, losing your parents to drugs can really mess a kid up. Um, from such a young age, I've suffered from depression and for such a long time I felt so alone and worthless. Um, and I questioned if anyone really loved me. So I began cutting as a way to make the pain go away. Um, I knew God was there, but uh, you know, I, I kind of blamed him for everything that had went wrong and I resented him and I, you know, I couldn't rely on him because of that for a long time um, and as time passed on I just I kind of distanced myself from him and started falling deeper and deeper into sin and then in February of 2011 my my friend Grady committed suicide so and that put me in the position to where I really had to ask myself why I was living the way I was living and what the point of it was I mean because Grady had told me about God before but it had just went in one ear and out the other so when I was looking around at the other people in the church, I mean, I could see how strong they were because, I mean, they, they obviously had something I didn't have. They were standing in Christ, and I wanted that. So, I mean, I made the decision that I was going to accept Christ, and I did. And I tried to live for Him for a while, but, um, you know, I, I hung out with the same people, and, you know, I was still suffering from depression, so I continued to cut. And, you know, but after a while, God kind of like put more people in my life and took the other ones away. And I grew closer to Him, like a lot closer to Him. And I got baptized. Um, but then like depression came back and stuff. And um, I kind of distanced myself from everyone like at school. And I just kept to myself a lot. And instead of talking to God, I told my problems to the guy I liked, and uh, he never really had what I needed to hear, but it wasn't his fault. Um, I, I mean, I loved God, and I came to church and stuff, but I hadn't made Jesus the Lord of my life. Um, but uh, over time, God took more people out of my life, and uh, it really, like, I got to a really low point. I just kind of hit rock bottom, and um, I just begged for peace and happiness, and um, over time, he gave it to me, and... Well, this year I went into school with a different approach to things. I went in with Jesus as my first priority. This year is an unpopularity contest. It's a challenge to bring as many people to Jesus as possible, and I've accepted it. It's, it's not always easy, but I know it's worth it because salvation is the greatest gift you can receive, and I can't wait to share it with other people. Circle yourself around friends like that won't judge you, because most girls are just kind of I can't explain it. Judgmental, you know, they just, it's hard to find somebody you can actually trust. So um, just find friends in the church. That's what I've started to do. Well, I mean, if, if you look at it from, um, you know, a normal person's point of view, um, you know, like we, we don't deserve any of this. Like, I mean, we all deserve hell. But um, knowing that God's grace, you know, even though we don't deserve it, I mean, it, it's sufficient and, um, you know, it can give you a source of happiness you can't find anywhere else. And um, 